Welcome to the first lab concept video in Physical Geography Online. In this video, we will be looking at the concepts of precision and accuracy in measurement. First, let's define the terms we are working with. Precision is how exact a measurement is. In other words, how many decimal places do you measure a value to? Accuracy is how close the measured value is to the actual value. A good example of accuracy is the game of guessing how many jelly beans are in a jar. If you guess the exact number that are actually in the jar, your guess is very accurate. If your guess is very far off, your guess is inaccurate. So our jar has 632 jelly beans. Sally's student guessed 650 jelly beans, while Sid's student guessed 189 jelly beans. Sally's guess is much more accurate than Sid's. When we use instruments to measure the world around us, we want for those instruments to be very accurate. One way to gauge the accuracy of an instrument that you use is to compare the measured value to a trusted, known source. The most important thing you can do when you are wrestling with the precision and accuracy of a measurement is to do a heads-up real-world reality check. Does the value you measured make real-world sense? Let's take, for example, the thermometer in my 10-year-old minivan. It's been through a lot, two kids and nearly 100,000 miles. For the past several years, the thermometer on its dashboard never reads higher than 86 degrees. I can compare the accuracy of this thermometer by looking up the temperature from my location listed by the National Weather Service. What I have found is that at cooler temperatures the minivan thermometer is accurate, but at warmer temperatures it is not, such as on our trip to Sacramento over the summertime. A scientist should know when to trust the accuracy of their device and when they should not. Next, let's talk about precision. The precision of a measurement is how exact the measurement is. You might want to think about it as how many decimal places the measurement shows. The precision is limited by the measurement device. So a ruler with marks of every tenth of an inch is precise to a tenth of an inch and you can make a measurement to the nearest point one, or one place past the decimal. Sometimes when we convert math to real world distances, the math gives us a lot of decimal places of precision. This is the time to do a real world reality check. For example, does it make sense to list the distance between San Francisco and Paris as 8,372.97113 miles? No way. That level of precision is to less than one half a foot. The reality check tells us that when measuring between big things such as cities, we're going to have a lower precision, perhaps a whole mile. When you measure small distances such as the movement of tectonic plates over 5,000 years, you will need to use a much higher precision such as a thousandth or a ten thousandth of a kilometer. For labs in this class, make sure that you always show the correct precision. It's always indicated in the question. Round your answers correctly. As a review, this is precise to the nearest hundred. This is precise to the nearest ten and the nearest whole number. This is precise to the nearest tenth, to the nearest hundredth, the nearest thousandth, and the nearest ten thousandth. Recall that zeros are numbers too, so if you are supposed to round 34.0136 to the nearest tenth, the result would be 34.0. That's it for now. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask me. I'm here to help you.